Hi everybody, welcome back. This video is about dental lights to go along with your dental loops and the five considerations I made when purchasing a dental light. So let's get into it. Stay a minute, another minute. The first of these considerations is how bright the actual light is. Now this light here was sent to me by Light Solutions Dental, a company out in San Bernardino, California. They were nice enough to send me a few to just test out. Now this one has three different settings. I for one don't like the brightest setting at all. It just strains your eye and after a while, it ends up hurting it as well. So I usually keep it around medium. And the cool thing about this light is that it leads into the second consideration, which is, is it corded or is it wireless? Now this one's wireless and so is this one over here. But the two difference about these two is that this one also has a battery pack that you can take off and put on if one happens to, you know, run out of batteries, which is why I like these portable ones so much. Say that you're assisting one of your bigs or one of your colleagues and you just don't want to put on your whole entire loop because these things are wonky. You can do this and still get enough light to view what your big is doing and also provide a little light in this world. So I've done this a couple of times and I uh, one time last week, the battery did end up going out. So I just took this one off, picked another one up and then put it back on which was really neat, right? Now the downside to a portable battery or a wireless battery overall is that they have a lower battery life. So that's why some may opt to go for the corded light. So here's a corded light from the same company. This has three different views as well. Now the other light that I have is from Designs for The reason why I'm keeping the name vague is because I've had a little bit of problems with these lights, namely the USB slot for this corded one has been wearing out after two and a half years of using it. Ideally, a light should have a longer lifespan than that. Another problem that I've had with this light in particular is that this thing won't stay up, this curing shield. And a general comment I've heard from all of my classmates is that these batteries just run out really fast. So I'm hoping that once I buy a new light, I can just donate this to one of my classmates and they'll have two lights and I'll bring a little bit more light into their world. And this leads into the fourth consideration. There are some dental light companies out there that have kind of a motion sensor type thing. This isn't one of them, but you just do one of these and it'll turn off and on by itself, which is really cool. So a lot of different ways to customize your light and it really ultimately comes down to what you want for certain procedures. This is one that I'm leaning more towards and I'm gonna pair this with my Q-Optics and then hopefully this will this will last me a long time. With that said, the fifth consideration to make, again, is the type of rep that you're dealing with. Your lights, you're gonna spend roughly around $300 to $500 for just one of these, and maybe with the extra battery pack inside. And if you have a bad rep and something happens to happen with your light, you'll end up with one of these that, you know, just isn't working. So yeah, those are my five considerations. Thank you so much. I hope this video helped. As always, if this video helped you out, please give it a like and a comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe and share. That always helps me out. Thank you. Let your other pre-dental friends know not to go for these companies.